the latest hype stable video diffusion and to be honest it's pretty impressive but how does it stack up against runway ml in this video i'll be showing you how to install stable video diffusion locally with only one click as long as you have the gpu to handle it and i'll also show you an alternative so you can run it online then we will explore side by side comparisons of stable video diffusion versus runway ml so in the beginning i tried installing stable video diffusion and kept getting a vs error i later opened a ticket in the pinocchio discord however i knew it would take some time for them to get back to me so i went ahead and installed comfy ui so i could test it in reality i just wanted stable video diffusion standalone and after multiple failed attempts i had no choice but to install comfy ui so after messing around and generating some videos morpheus in the pinocchio discord got back to me to troubleshoot the install issues i later went ahead and followed the directions and got it up and running which brings me to this i see people asking about errors when it comes to installing these ai apps locally however the best resolution is always going to the source for example if you are having issues with pinocchio please use their discord for troubleshooting or for example the sad talker install guide i'm just a youtuber showcasing my journey within ai and these ai tools it's not that i don't want to help you guys but i am super busy trying to do the one video per week for you guys and on top of that the best people to help you with your install errors are those who created the app i'll always leave a link in the description for the main sources it's as simple as going to their discord or opening a ticket on their website now with that out of the way the trouble i was having was an issue with visual studio and basically i had to uninstall visual studio and let pinocchio install visual studio after about 30 minutes stable video diffusion standalone was installed thanks pinocchio so yeah it takes a while to install that is because the safe tensor files are roughly 40 gigabytes so be aware when installing it also stable video diffusion requires a decent gpu as far as minimum requirements i don't know but i do know that i have a rtx 3060 with 12 gigabytes ram and i am able to run stable video diffusion locally i've heard that 8 gigabytes gpus can also run it but i can't speak from experience also keep in mind that when you first run stable video diffusion it will take a long time to initially load the models that is because it is downloading the necessary model needed after going through that initial process you'll be fine so if you haven't already go ahead and install and launch pinocchio you can get pinocchio at pinocchio.computer once that's done click on the discover button stable video diffusion should be right here simply click and install and follow the prompts it took me about 30 minutes so be patient once that's done let's launch stable video diffusion standalone oh let me change this to dark mode you merely adopted the dark i was born in it Perfect. The SVD model gets you 14 frames and the SVD XT gets you 25 frames. So let's choose the XT model from the drop down and check the load model button. Keep in mind, the very first time you do this will take some time. To the left you have your basic settings such as height, width, and seed. I like to change my seed to zero and uncheck save images locally, just to keep file size down. However, if you want to keep the images leave that checked. Here are the steps. Steps refers to the number of iterations the model runs to go from random noise to a recognizable video based on your image. There are various sampling methods available, and each method has its own characteristics in terms of speed, accuracy, and convergence. Discretization In applied mathematics, discretization is the process of transferring continuous functions, models, variables, and equations into discrete counterparts. Now, think of discretization like taking snapshots of this river at certain points. Each snapshot captures the river at a specific moment in time and at a specific spot. These snapshots are like discrete or separate points instead of the continuous flow of the river. The rest of these I am not sure. However, play around with the settings to find what works best for you. By default straight out the box, the basic default settings tend to work best universally. If you do know what the other parameters are, please let us know in the comments below. I do recommend changing the FPS frames per second to your liking 8 to 12 is what I normally use. It depends on your needs, so change them accordingly. And when you're ready, simply drag and drop an image here. Be sure the image matches the resolution to the left for best output. When you're ready, scroll to the bottom and click sample. This process, especially your very first time, will take some time. At the top right hand corner, you'll see a simple running animation. This lets you know it's working. You can also bring your Pinocchio window terminal to the foreground to see status information. Once it's done, your video will be available at the bottom. Check that out. I absolutely love it. But what if you don't have a decent graphics card? Well, don't worry, I got you covered. Simply go to replicate.com. Click on Explore then select Stability AI Stable Video Diffusion. Click on this trash bin icon to remove the default picture then drag and drop your picture here. Click on Run and wait for your video to process. Awesome! Now, let's take a look side by side from what SVD produced locally versus what Replicate.com produced. These were all default settings and it seems that the locally produced video was one second longer. 
Of course, when I set my settings on my local run, I choose the XT model and change the FPS to 8 from the default 6. However, Replicate.com was 10x faster than producing it on my local machine with my current graphics card. Also, I'm not sure on the limits for Replicate.com as far as the free version goes. At some point you'll need to start paying to use it. You can go here to see the pricing. And based on the pricing, it's pretty cheap. However, for me personally, it's always best to have a local install. Now, how does it stack up against the infamous Runway ML? Let's see, I'll be showing you some side-by-side -side comparisons. Keep in mind, I had to generate everything beforehand and couldn't screen record the process, plus it would have taken way longer. So without further ado, here are some side-by-side -side comparisons. I'll show you both vertical and horizontal formats. Amazing, it's like Runway ML somehow guessed I was creating a comparison video. But trust me, I didn't selectively choose these results. I simply don't have the time to do that in my life. I wanted to showcase different styles and types of images, and I know I missed a lot of styles like Sithwave, Cartoon, etc. However, this was just a quick rundown. Anyways, these results were absolutely incredible. It's hard to pick a winner, but being that Stable Video Diffusion is absolutely free and runs on my local machine, where I don't need to buy credits each and every time to use it, I personally have to go with Stable Video Diffusion. Fusion. If money was not an issue, and I needed super fast results, and I was producing a ton of videos for myself or clients, then I'd probably pick Runway ML. Each of the generations with Runway ML took less than a minute to generate, so if you had unlimited generations, you could pump out videos like a madman. 
the unlimited plan will run you around $100 per month or if you pay yearly around $76 per month. So yeah, as a hobby, stable video diffusion all the way for mass production, Runway ML. What about you? Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts. One last thing, let's do a side-by-side -side replicate versus Runway ML speedrun.